Hey, buddy, hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. This is Lelderin. In this episode, we're doing a quick Arms Day reveal. Today is Wednesday the 10th, so it is Arms Day. Uh, you can pick up your Arms Day packages. You can do all that crap with the gunsmith over here at Banshee44. We're going to find out that last week, if you remember, I didn't pick up anything because there was nothing I really felt like I needed. So this week, Banshee has a couple goody, 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 goody gumdrops. Now, the first thing he's got is Zerinia D. Now, Zerinia D is the really, really high rate of fire, really, really low impact assault rifle. Uh, the auto rifle, this one is actually, I had one. It didn't have the exact rolls I want. This weapon has 30 in the chamber, in the magazine, not in the chamber. 30 in the magazine. The aim assist is around 60 uh, and has actually really good stability and really fast reload for an auto rifle. Uh, and some of the stuff you can get are actually, it's if you get a good roll on this gun, it is stupid good. But it's getting that good roll is kind of a pain in the donkey. So a couple things you can get on it that's really kind of worth it is, believe it or not, partial refund is not bad in Crucible. Uh, you can get Hot Swap, which is fantastic on a main hand weapon as long as you get used to switching in and out. You can get Crowd Control, which is fantastic. You can get uh, Counterbalance. You can get Focus Fire, but I don't really like Focus Fire. I think it's only 7% extra damage, which is negligible. Uh, you can get Counterbalance, Range Finder, Persistence, Spray and Play, Feeding Frenzy, Rodeo, Glass Half Full. With 30 in the magazine too, Glass Half Full plus Crowd Control on something like this is dumb if you can get a good roll. Plus, if you can get something to, to like really boost up the stability, because the stability is around 60, which is like about half. If you can get crowd control and counterbalance with something like uh, fitted stock or brace frame or anything like that, this gun is dumb. I might pick up one of those just because you know how I feel about auto, auto rifles. So I, if you like auto rifles, pick that one up. Soros Disc 43 is one of the best stability scout rifles in the game. I have actually gotten two of them. One of them I still actually use is this one here. I picked this up on an arms day. It has fitted stock, hidden hand, small bore, and if I want to flip out of that, I can go into snapshot. Uh, it'll have 19 in the magazine. With something like small board, it only takes away two. The reload is still pretty good. If you have uh, scout rifle arms on, it reloads like this. And it usually comes, I like the Soros, um, uh, oh my God, what the hell is the name of the phrase? Sights. God, my brain is not 100% I just got home from the gym. I do, I do like the sights. Plus, this one has stuff like highlights enemy targets, which makes it really easy in the Crucible. Uh, lightweight red dot sights. And some of the other stuff you can get on this thing is stuff like... Um, High caliber rounds, perfect balance, hammer forged, which are all really good. I wish this thing had perfect balance instead of fitted stock because perfect balance is better, but that stability is still stupid. Uh, you can get counterbalance, range finder, hip fire, outlaw, Icarus, which is dumb. Partial recap, uh, fun, take a knee, which is dumb. Rodeo, zen moment, which is great. Full auto, which is actually really good on this because the rate of fire is pretty good. If you get full auto, it makes it even dumber. Um, but the only thing with full auto is then it takes away stuff like hidden hand, uh, triple tap, spray and play, range finder. So it really depends on your play style. But Soros uh, Scout Rifles have some of the best perks in the game. And they start off really good to begin with. Like even without fitted stock, the stability on this thing is pretty good. I mean, that reduces the magazine size. So it's kind of hard to show you. But it, the stability only goes down maybe like a smidgen. If you like Scout Rifles, you might want to invest in one of these. Um, if Scout Rifle is one of your favorite weapon types, this thing is, it can almost take over an exotic spot. I wouldn't hesitate to say that. This is one of my go-tos for scout rifles. I don't use scout rifles often, but when I do, dos equis. Okay, so next thing is going to be... Come on, man. Let's take it forever. Geharis D. Now, I had a Geharis D. I got rid of it because I picked up some other guns I like, but Geharis D, to give you an idea, is one of the highest impact, slower rate of fire um, hand cannons in the game. Now, the maximum impact on this is 82, which is really high. The maximum rate of fire is 22, which is medium for a hand cannon, but... It's got decent range and decent stability. Now, you can get perks on this thing that will make it redonkulous. You can get stuff like Final Round, Reactive Reload, Spray and Play, Zen Moment, uh, Crowd Control. If you can get something like um, Zen Moment on it, the stability goes up to 76, which is uh, three quarters. Um, and you can get stuff for Reload, which makes it almost 70% as well, which is almost three quarters. So it will reload really quickly. It has seven in the magazine. If you get like Small Bore and Luck in the Chamber, I think it takes it down to six, um, which is okay. Not one of my favorite hand cannons, but it does have really high impact, even though the rate of fire is kind of crap. If you can get some stability perks on it, it can be pretty crazy. The next one's Kumakatok. If you remember, I picked up a Kumakatok a while back. Uh, I think it was like two, three weeks ago now. This one is one of my go-to hand cannons now. The one I got came with Third Eye, Rifled Barrel, and Firefly. Now, you can switch it into Underdog, the one I picked up for Crucible if you want to, uh, which will just give you better range and uh, better handling when health is low, which is actually pretty good. It fires fast. The impact is really good. And some of the other perks on this thing are actually pretty fantastic. I like the Amalan 
um, hand cannons. They're kind of one of my favorite type of deals. It got 74% aim assistance. It's got 71% equip speed, so it shoots in real fast. The recoil direction is almost directly straight up and down, so it's really easy to kind of like figure out where it's going to recoil to. Um, the impact will always be around 74%. There's no way to raise that. And the rate of fire, same thing. But the stability can go to 100% on this gun, which means you can just pop that, that trigger and... Hey, baby, you're gonna die. I'm gonna shoot you right, right in the eye. True story. Uh, so you can do that thing. Quip speed can be up to 116, which means like lightning fast. Aim assist is 79% if you get hit in hand. Um, or whatever the hell the other, the, sca, the, the uh, steady hand. Is it a steady hand? Quick draw. True sight. That's what it is. Anyways, but you can get stuff like third eye, which I already have. Grenadier, Mulligan, uh, Luck of the Chamber, Zen Moment, which the only thing I would maybe take Zen Moment over third eye, but third eye is really good in the Crucible. And then you can get stuff like Snapshot, Single Point Sling, Lightweight, uh, Extended Mag, Triple Tap, Firefly, Life Support, Rescue Mag, Icarus, Outlaw, Underdog, Exhum, Danger Close, Surrounded, and Eye of the Storm. To me, this is actually one of the best rolls I could possibly get because the stability is crazy. I wish I had a little bit better stability, um, but I, I'll take the range over the, over, the, over the stability, I guess, any day. So that's going to be, if you like hand cannons, I would personally take this hand cannon over the Harris D just because that's, I mean, that's my own personal preference for play style. But I like the Kumakatak. I use it sometimes in the Crucible. It is fun to play around with. The last thing is going to be the Irene. Now, the Irene, this is one of my friend's favorites. I actually have one right here. The one I picked up, it has that sprint crap, which is kind of dumb. But it also has shoot to loot, lightweight, injection mold, and luck in the chamber, which with only four is actually pretty decent. The impact on this is pretty high. Uh, it's thirty. The one I have is a little bit higher than normal. You can have it normally with 34%. Maximum impact, I'm sorry, is 35%. The range can be up to 100, and the stability can be 78, reload 85, and you can have up to 5 in the magazine. I like this gun. It's very easy, and, and, and it kind of like the uh, recoil direction is almost straight up and down. It's very easy to kind of plan ahead for your recoil. The zoom is 40%, um, and the aim assist is low, which I actually like with sniper rifles, because then if you're if you're aiming for somebody and somebody runs in front of them, it doesn't freaking do this and make you shoot the tree for no damn reason. Um, so I like the Irene. I do pick this up. I wish I'm, I may actually buy another one because you can get this with Firefly, which is one of the few um, uh, scout, not scout rifles, right there, sniper rifles. It still has Firefly, Triple Tack, Love in the Chamber, uh, Outlaw, Performance Bonus, Army of One, and Grenadier. And then you can get a second thing, Unflinching, which I actually really like for sniper rifles. Uh, clown cartridge, which you don't really see anymore. Replenish, life support, un uh, unflinching, which I already said. Exhumed, mulligan, eye of the storm, last resort, shoot the loot, and underdog. So I might be picking one of these up too. So I would recommend the sniper rifle if you like sniping. I would recommend trying it out because I do like the fact that it has a low aim assist. On my main hand weapons and on pretty much every every type of weapon except for sniper rifles, I like high aim assist just because it drags right to that dang headshot. Uh, but on sniper rifles, I don't like it at all. And this is one of the lowest aim assist sniper rifles in the game which is fantastic. So that's what he's going to have this week. I'm probably going to pick up um, the Irene. I think I might pick up another Soros Dis, uh, Soros 43. I might pick up a Zerinia D just to see if I can get a really good roll on it because it's, I would like to try to get a better one than the one I had. And I'm, I might actually pick up four of these weapons. I might pick up one, two, three, four. So anyways, let me know in the comments down below what you picked up from Banshee this week. Did you get anything? Do you hope he's got a different weapon type? Do you want a perfect roll? What are you looking for? Tell me, please. So until next time, this is Leldrin signing off. Be sure to join me every single day and tonight for my live stream. Same Leldrin time, same Leldrin channel. But until next time, get out of here, guys. I got more stuff to do for you. See you again soon. Bye. Hey, just